Hey everyone, it's Andre Lugo here from BX, and I just want to take a moment to thank everyone who's tuning into BX1. Uh, it's people, places, stories that we find interesting and want to share with you, and it's one on one, so that's why it's BX1. And our first guest is David J. Cork. Yo. He's our first guest because he's my friend. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, and he has a web series in uh, that takes place in the Heights. Um, I don't know if the story takes place in the Heights, but you film in the Heights. We film in the Heights, yeah. And you live in the Heights, so. Yeah. Um, we can. We, I know it's BX, but we can mess with the height. The Bronx adjacent. Right, that's, right. that's our so neighbor. Bronx, Bronx adjacent. So, that so, works. so we just want to uh, let him introduce himself and give some background information. My name is David J. Cork. I'm from uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, I lived there until I moved to got ready to go to school. Um, I originally went to school in Atlanta, Clarkland University. Uh, I was there for about a year and a half, and then I transferred to NYU, where I finished out my BFA in drama. Um, that's my educational history. I I've, I've, I've always think I've always wanted to live in New York City. Um, it's the place where dreams come true. Um, living in a place like Indiana, I mean, there's not much to do, and I just think that for me, I need to get out in order for me to grow as an artist, especially. If you haven't gotten from the title from the title of the series, it's about uh, bisexuality and, and and I guess exploring that. What about that? story you know grab it like what made you want to go to that story there's so many stories you could uh, tell as an actor or as a black man in new york or uh, you know there's right. so many other things you could have done why right. bisexuality um on a, on a on a magnitude of different reasons there's a reason why i chose bisexuality one of those being i am bisexual so um having something out there that represented bisexuality was something very important to me and anytime bisexuality has been represented in the media it's been like, oh, you're crazy, or, you know, you're confused, and that's not the case. Do you um, get that on both ends? Oh, yeah. Like, gay I people, know gay men do gay, it all gay, men, gay men do it all the time. Like, yeah. oh, you just wait until, like, the right dick comes around, and then you're going to leave it. Like, no, it's not even like that. And girls are like, <sighs> they're like, at least you're honest, and you told me up front, and I'm yeah. not, you know, thinking you're, like, some DL guy, and they're, like, you're real paranoid. But um, it was really important for me to um, have bisexuality be in a, in a front especially for myself because me being a black man, a black bisexual man, there was no representation of that at all. And I felt that it was my job to make that visible. And I, and I think when you had told me in the beginning of you, you wanted to do this, I was like, that's really cool, it's not really done, I, I right. haven't really ever heard. And you have so many gay web series yeah. out there right now. Yeah, yeah the ones that I have one. seen about with bisexuality, um, they're shown almost as if like bisexuality is a curse, or um, another one is just it's female driven. Right, right, right. It, it's usually when bisexuality is represented in the media, it is female driven because you know it's just easier to accept when it's a girl. What triggered what what happened inside you said I can make a series out of this? Um, what triggered the show? Um, well, like I said before, I was speaking on how. There was no representation of like a black male bisexual, and um, I, I had been tinkering with writing for a little while, and I had recently this I think this was like 2014. I had uh, just I was dating a guy and a girl, and I was dating like another guy as well, and all three of them came to my birthday party, and it all just blew up in my face, and. I ended up calling my mom and I was talking to my mom I was like, man, my love life is crazy. And she goes, baby, your love life is a TV show. And I was like, ah, there we go. So I just kind of, I took that and I just started writing. I just started writing about some of my experiences. Um, I started writing about these, these, these just, just relationships and like having bad luck with relationships and good luck with relationships. But I, the main circle, the main focus of the show is about relationships and connections to other people and I really wanted to drive that home as well as like bring bisexuality to a visible kind of like light. Mm -hmm. What were some of the first hurdles of trying to get the show started? Are you finding actors or storylines or even maybe just accepting that you're gonna put this all out because uh, you know it's a big part of your life. Well the first I think the first hurdle was in me writing this I was outing myself. I don't want to say like, you know, I, I wasn't necessarily outing myself because I was very comfortable with who I was, but it was a conversation I hadn't had with a lot of people yet. Yeah. And 
I was like, well, this is it. Because so, I, yeah, I remember yeah, when like, we worked at Re- Republic and it was still like, I don't know, is he... Yeah, because girls? because I didn't, I just feel like it wasn't important. Like, I felt like who I was attracted to is who I was attracted to. It really wasn't that important to me to be like, hey guys, I'm bisexual. You know, that just really wasn't what was most important to me. But I knew that with me releasing this series, there was going to be no questions about it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So from, from here on out until the day I die, everyone's going to know that David J. Cork is a bisexual man. What was the initial feedback from people or from you know be your friends or family and probably people on, online you know everyone liked it I didn't, I didn't if I do get negative feedback it's technical stuff like the sound is too low or the music's too loud and you know we fix it later and as the show goes on but right. as far as like um, storyline story goes everyone was really connected to what was being written uh, everyone likes the writing which <laughs> made me feel good um, I think everyone just appreciated a fresh perspective, yeah. which is what has drawn a lot of people into the show as well. What is the basic, uh, what are some of the themes in the first season? I know this season, second season is a little second darker. Second season is different. Um, <laughs> season two is different. So what, I guess what were some of your initial themes in the, the beginning and then probably where are they now and where do you see them, where do you see the show going in the future? I think, I think the major theme is what does it mean to be in love? and how do we, what do we associate love with? Another thing that I play with is identity. Um, I think a lot of the characters go through a moment of, what am I, who am I? And I think that's something that everybody can relate to. These are themes that I think will definitely continue throughout the series. What does it mean to be in love and who am I? And And I guess it doesn't matter who you, decide to date that's guess that's, yeah, the, that's the whole point I think that's the whole point of it because at the end of the day we all looking for love and we're all trying to figure out who we're supposed to be 